I was on three antidepressants. Um, I was pretty much non-functional at work when I did have a job. Um, I spent two years um, supposedly self-employed, but basically not working at all. Um, I would get, uh, I had such control issues in terms of having people do the things that I thought were really important, um, extending all the way down to my dogs where I would scream at my dogs. One time my dog did something that I felt was abhorrent, so um, I hit her to the point um, where she growled. So I went to the pharmacist with my little medication script and um, he kind of looked at me and hesitated and told me to wait a minute and he went in the back room and a couple minutes later he came back and I was like, what? It's just a, a refill. And he said he called my psychiatrist because um, my medications were so high he thought there was an error. But in fact, there wasn't an error. I was in fact on those high doses of, of antidepressants. I had read the book by Barry Neil Kaufman, uh, uh, Happiness is a Choice, and I loved the logic and um, it made so much sense. Uh, I loved some of the ideas of, or the questions of, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? Do you want to prioritize your happiness? Um, you can be grateful. There were so many great tools that I saw and it made sense, but there was a chasm that I just couldn't figure out how to get from what was in my, you know, what made sense to me here to actually incorporating that into my life and doing it. Um, so I sent my partner to the Option Institute because, hey, she was worthy and she deserved, she was deserving and um, she would actually make use of it. Now, <laughs> this happens every time. She took it and we're bound and when she came back, um, she, um, drove up and she came to the bottom of the stairs and I was the top stairs and I could see from like 20 feet away how different she was. Um, it was just astounding. I was, I, I remember, st I cried then, I'm crying now. She was such a different person. Um, and she just, she was just shining. And I, there was this cloud that I didn't realize was there before was gone. I didn't, I didn't, hadn't noticed it. I didn't understand that it was there, but it was gone when she came back. So I said, okay, <laughs> I want some of that. Um, so I went to Empowering Yourself and um, I got to the mountain house and a staff member greeted me and I started to cry because I was so scared that if this didn't work and I had already tried all the self-help books and I had gotten off of alcohol and gotten off of sugar and stopped eating meat and you know I'd done all these other things and I didn't know what else to do and so if this didn't work I was at the end of my rope and you know so the next morning I put back on my little mask and I came out strong and I was happy and I was vibrant um, and that like worked for a morning or so, and um, gently the teachers uh, were so um, with all of us. My classmates were fabulous. Um, we laughed together. We cried together. We, you know, they loved me no matter where I was or how I was. And the teachers were the same times 20. Um, they followed us down whatever road we went to. They held their hands, but they left it up to us to make our choices and you know find our own answers. And I guess that's one of the things that I love about the option process. I have um, been working full time, fully engaged, and then some. Um, I have a responsible position. I get uh, feedback that I do an excellent job. Uh, I take a stand. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I don't wobble. I, I live life in that way. So I'm incredibly grateful for everything that I've learned at the Option Institute and the tools that I've been given and the people who, here who have loved me so deeply and so um, fully.